got him. Got him. These baits are super easy to use, guys. They're virtually snag proof. You throw them in the rocks, on the timber, all sorts of places. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a really long time since I've done a bait making video. Just been busy catching a lot of fish, editing those videos, having a good time so far. But I figure why not just make a video of me making some crawl dads and then using those baits to catch some fish. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today, guys. Today we're going to go with this Angling AI Crawl Dad Mold. Check that out. This mold is beautiful. It's fantastic. It shoots really clean. And I've been catching some fish on it, so I figured might as well make a video and take these baits out to the little creek. Hopefully, get some river smallmouth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this dead-on plastics. This is the Crawl 2 blend. I'm going to pour some of this out. Probably just stick with a cup for now. I'm not making a lot of baits, just making enough to go out for one trip. I'm going to shake this up here. Pour out a cup of it and then heat it up and fling plastic everywhere that was on, on this cap. But anyway, I'm gonna heat this plastic up to about 350 and then we'll start mixing some colors. First thing I'm gonna put in here is this Lureworks green pumpkin color in here. This is what you wanna use if you're going for a natural color. So that's 12 drops right there. That should get us pretty close. I want it to still be a little bit transparent, but not too saturated because I got I got a couple other colors I'm going to be adding. The other thing I'm going to try is this dead on plastics red. Just a little bit enough to, I don't know, make it look more like a crawl dad. This isn't rocket science or rocket surgery. <laughs> so we just kind of put stuff together and figure out what works and what doesn't. But I do find that adding a little bit of red to this green pumpkin definitely makes it look a little bit more natural. And the last thing I like to add is just dead on plastics black right here. So I'm just adding a little bit, tiny bit. That's three drops right now. Another thing I've been adding in here recently is this bait plastics green highlight powder. A little bit of green takes the edge off of this. It makes it look a little bit different than everybody else's baits. So let's throw a little bit of that, just a little bit in there. Probably going with the quarter scoop. Watch what this does, guys. See that? That is looking damn freaking tasty. Let's check that out. That's looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is add some size 40 hex black glitter. Not a whole bunch. Maybe just a half a scoop. See, we'll see where that gets us. I'm also going to be putting in some size 0 0.025 glitter in here too. Just to add a little bit more depth. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but that is looking really good. Let's get a close up. Looking real good. All right, let's pop this back in the microwave, get it back up to temperature, and then shoot this in the new mold. Don't forget, these things suck down plastic fast, so you might want to top it off after a couple seconds. All right, let's open them up, see what we got. Check these bad boys out. All right, guys, now we got the baits made. There's only one other thing to do. Got to go to the creek. 
put them to the test and hopefully get into some largemouth and smallmouth bass. <laughs> Make sure the skirt's all straight. Sometimes it gets a little messed up, but yeah, there's the crawdad bait that I made on a black bitsy bug quarter ounce jig. This thing should be killer in the creeks, especially on this timber and all these lay downs. Let's go see if we could get some, man. Got him. Not a bad bass. It's official. Largemouth bass like my custom crawdad baits paired with a bitsy bug. <laughs> Got him. Yes. It's two fish in a row. This one seems nice too. So is this my first small jaw of the day? Yes. Hell yeah. Not a bad little small jaw at all. There we go, guys. Yes. All I'm doing is dragging it right on the bottom. And if I feel a thump, I stop and I give it slack and I let them take it. And then I set the hook. These, these baits are super easy to use. Ah, oh, I missed one. <sighs> Must have been a little one. These baits are super easy to use, guys. They're virtually snag proof. You throw them in the rocks on the timber, all sorts of places. This, that's why this is definitely one of my go-to creek baits. There's a bite. Ooh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, I hooked him sideways? What did I do? I thought that was a big fish. How is this even possible? I hooked him through the fin. I hooked him right through the back. I thought it was a monster. What the heck? I don't even understand how that's possible. <laughs> Little guy too. Let's let this guy go. Man, they're stacked up in here. Oh, I missed one. He ran right at me. There's got to be some next to this brush. Got him. Little guy. <laughs> These bass are almost predictable now that I got a pattern figured out. Little guy. Later, dude. Check out the action on this crawl, guys. That's crazy action on those those claws, man. That's what gets the fish going, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, he shook off. Dang it, man. Got snagged up in this branch. It wasn't a big one, but still. I couldn't tell. I thought my line was moving up a log. You know how your line slides down every once in a while when you hit a log? That's what I thought happened with this little bass. Goodness. If there's one, there's more. Got him. Stay out of that log. Not a bad one at all. Awesome. There you go, guys. This just goes to show if you're fishing in a creek and you're not throwing jigs and laydowns like this, you're, you're missing out. Yes. Got him. Another small jaw little guy. Where's the ones with the size, man? That's what I want. Got him. Not a bad little small jaw. Still looking for that upgrade. Still looking for that 18 incher. But these are still fun to catch. This guy's healthy. Made it back from the creek, guys. Had a really good time out there catching a lot of fish on base that I made. Incredibly rewarding. And it's something I want to do more in the future. So if you guys want me to do this some more, please let me know in the comments below. If I have the mold and you guys want me to make a bait and try to catch some fish on it, just let me know. I'm almost down for pretty much anything, guys. Aside from that, really awesome news that includes a sponsorship from a lithium-ion battery company. And to top that all off, check out my new toy, guys. Super excited about using this trolling motor that has spot lock on it. It's going to be so incredibly helpful fishing those big bodies of water. So make sure you guys subscribe to see me hopefully on some bigger water this coming year. Maybe later this year as well. Might do some musky fishing. But that's a story for another day. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do like the video, please make sure you smash the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that little bell as well so you guys can get notified when a new video comes out. Peace.